Chief Meteorologist Nikki D. Ray with KLBK's First Warning Weather. Rain is not just a good thing, it is a great thing. We continue to be blessed with tons of rainfall all across the South Plains. Take a look at these photos from earlier. Rain is fantastic, but still it can be dangerous. We want to remind you guys this is from Slayton just earlier today. We're talking about curb to curb flooding. Remember, turn around and don't drown. Be smart when it comes to rainfall, even though it is such a blessing and we're so excited to see it. We are still dealing with something that can potentially be serious, harmful, and even deadly if you're not taking those proper precautions. And two, it can cause your TV to go out. The rain was going so hard earlier on in Crosby 10. It caused television signals to go out, those with dish. But that is a good thing. You know, you need to sit and just enjoy the noise of the rain falling from the sky. It's something we have not heard in quite some time. Today we dealt with it and now we're dealing with more of it. Some though this time around on the severe side. We do have one particular severe thunderstorm warning right now in effect for Lee and Gaines County. This particular thunderstorm at a glance just looks okay. It's given some heavy rainfall, but it does have some rotation involved in it. The rotation is extremely light, but still we do want to remember that we are going to continue to keep an eye on this storm. High winds are involved as we are dealing with some gusty conditions and the Hell Corps continues to rebuild, fall, and rebuild. So we are dealing with particularly round size of an inch to even golf ball size hell involved with this particular storm. So continue to stay aware because this Hell Corps still up in the sky right now and it, everything that goes up must come down. So we are looking for that Hell Corps to fall in the near future. We'll continue to keep an eye on the sky. It's moving to the northeast at 20 miles per hour, quickly gaining strength and pushing itself up. And that's a good thing in the areas it is going to because earlier today, a lot of us saw even up to four and a half inches of rainfall in our backyards. But some locations such as down towards Seminole didn't see that much rain. And so these storms that are now beginning to form, well, they are going to those particular areas. So it is going to all even out and work its way through. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until the evening hours. It is right up and along the Texas New Mexico state line. That does not mean everyone else is in the clear, but it does mean that we're just looking to see that severe weather activity around the state line at this time. Of course, we will continue to keep you informed on the ever changing weather. Here's what we're looking forward to in the next several hours. We're going to see those few storms trying to continue to build. We're looking for them to stay along the state line into the overnight hours. Then early tomorrow morning, they're going to continue to push their way over towards the east, gaining some momentum and obviously bringing some more rainfall across the South Plains to many areas that have already seen, heard and dealt with rainfall. So we're adding on top of those numbers. More flooding is expected and that's going to continue to be our main threat as we head into the next several days. Now this particular system is going to continue to push its way through and it's going to hang out off into the rolling plains Saturday evening and we're looking to see another round Sunday as well as Monday and early morning Tuesday. But at, out of all of those days, the main threat continues to be flooding. We're looking not only curb to curb flooding, but we're going to continue to see those rainwaters go up. We're talking about four plus inches could be added to some rain totals. That means some locations such as over in Rawls could end up with eight inches of rain. That's a lot of rainfall for the South Plains, particularly when we're in a drought. So continue to stay aware. Tornadic threat is continuing to stay low. Wind threat is going to be gusty conditions within these thunderstorms. And then of course we are looking to see a little bit of hell, not large pieces, but still hell is going to be a threat. But flooding Got to remember to keep an eye out on the water. Here's what we're looking at for tomorrow. Since we are dealing with so much moisture, we're not going to see such dramatic cold mornings and hot afternoons. We're going to see a little bit of a moderate weather. 63 degrees for the low, getting up to 77 by the afternoon. 50% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms. Everyone will get their fair share, but it's not going to be an all day event. We head into Sunday where we're looking to see more of the rainfall pushing across the South Plains. Monday, even though it's a holiday and everyone wants to go outside, have those burgers, even head over to a water park or two, may not be your day, but you know what? It's going to be a splash alert and I guarantee you, it's going to all work out in the end. We desperately need the rain to stick around. Slick roads are going to be a major problem. All the oil has built up on those roadways, so then you add the rain to it. It is extremely slippery on the roads, and especially, Evan, on the back roads. Yeah. You want to make sure there are a lot of those roads that aren't necessarily even, mm -hmm. and they have a little dip in them. I know one road that I, I take a little shortcut to work. It has that dip, and there's plenty of water in it, so be careful. Well, plenty easy to hydroplane, that's for 